thank you, Women's Songwriters Hall of Fame. You know, of all the awards I always wanted to win and thought I would win in my career, never could I imagine I would win a Women's Songwriters Hall of Fame awards, which just goes to show that whatever God has for you is usually not what you want, but probably better, and he can give you more than you ever expected. So with that being said, I would like to thank Ms. Janice and the rest of the voters for this, this prestigious award. I would also like to thank, as I'm looking down trying to get my list together, I've been so excited about this award, I've been picking it up so many times, showing the people I got fingerprints all over it. Um, the other inductees, I'm huge fans of all of you all, as well as some of you all are personal friends. From Angela Bofield, I grew up loving your music. Dorothy Norwood from the Caravans, I was a huge Caravans fan as a kid. My grandmother used to play the Caravans music throughout the house all the time. And of course, she didn't sound as good as you all did. Um, Tony Basil, what would the 80s be without your Go Mickey song? <laughs> Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell sisters, I loved your country music. I thought I was the country king when I was a kid. And of course, I had the privilege of, cause, of calling Frida Payne and her sister personal friends of mine. Congratulations to all of you all. As you know, I'm a champion for all minorities, not only women, but I do want you all to hold your head up. Always keep pushing yourself to be your best. And when you're tired and you're exhausted, then push yourself and be your very best. Sorry I couldn't be there, I'm doing the family thing, but God be with you and me forever keep you and bless you. Thank you again, bye.